Welcome to the latest in AI video generation. It's terrifying, hilarious, and impressive, and often all three of these things at once. And it feels like it came out of nowhere. Before today, earlier AI-generated videos had some fairly obvious telltale signs that they weren't real. And videos like this one of AI-generated Will Smith eating spaghetti, and this one of a beer party with a random firestorm in the middle of it, probably went viral for those reasons. These new ones generated by Sora will probably also go viral, but for a different and much more sinister reason because it's getting so good, many of us won't be able to tell it's AI generated. Not even when we know it is. I mean, unless you're this guy who still finds it fairly obvious. I've been following AI generated stuff for ages. I knew it would get better, but wasn't sure how much better, nor how quickly it would improve. And this new video generating technology seems to jump my expectations by a few years, because it seems to get motion right. Even really difficult motion, like walking animations, where you'd expect AI to make a few bone-breaking mistakes from time to time. But most of the time it just looks right. Even the way different body parts move and flex, the way earrings jangle about and so on, it's good enough to pass at a glance, but it's also good enough to pass a more thorough inspection. What I'd expect would confuse AI videos such as this one would be where stuff goes out of view for a while and then comes back in again. Take a look at these two people walking in the background. They go behind her, and then they come out again, looking the same. Somehow this video has remembered how they looked, where they were, and so on. But can it do it again? Yes. They found a way of generating entire videos at once, which apparently gets around these previous limitations with stability. It might not always be perfect, but it's still a lot better than it has any right to be. This video, as incredible as it is, does have minor imperfections, like her earring which appears to be a complete hoop earlier on in the video, but then it switches to more of a snail design later on and doesn't form a perfect hoop anymore. But it really does feel like a minor nitpick to point this out when the general scene is so detailed and coherent. This car footage is already hinting at what the future of racing games could look like, and indeed, how their scenes could be generated. And I'm sorry, I resisted the temptation but couldn't, and just had to compare this driving footage with this clip from the video game Dirt Rally 2, because I was getting flashbacks of tumbling off that corner from the game. The similarities between these two tracks is just too creepy for it to be coincidence. Have they literally run this game's footage through the AI and changed the theme? It's ridiculous! Right, back to the video now. I had this wow think of the possibilities moment when AI generated pictures passed a critical quality threshold, and now with these videos, it's doing the same thing again. What's terrifying and sad is how quickly all this will become the norm. Unless you're watching this video within the first few weeks or months after its release, the chances are all this footage will seem fairly primitive compared to what you're used to now, but that's even more reason for me to document it as it's happening. And you should check out the playlist of me covering these AI generated advancements over the last few years because it really has come on a long way. There is sometimes weird motion, almost like some bits of it, like the waves in the sea, are being animated at a lower frame rate than the rest of the image, but I'm not sure how much of that is the AI generation and how much of that is just limited bitrate on something as bitrate hungry as the sea. They show a bunch of fail videos too, where it does stupid stuff like to have somebody running the wrong way on a conveyor belt. This one's a bit trippy, with dogs seemingly appearing out of nowhere like some weird twisted magic trick. Magicians already suffered from people not taking their profession seriously, but now they're at real risk of being outdone by AI. This one's weird as well, birthing a new genre of videos where you have to watch it a second time to try and make sense of what's going on. It's almost like a dream how smoothly that chair appears out of nowhere from behind the covers. Again, magicians, you have your work cut out. And then… There's some real uncanny value about how the people carry on as normal while the stuff they're holding starts floating and morphing about, yet it only makes me like it more. Weird how AI sometimes imitates video game clipping problems, like this prompt of a basketball going through a hoop and then exploding. That's weird, but it's only following orders. Until… But the lighting throughout is spot on, and the flailing motion of the net is eerily convincing as well. This construction site shows a health and safety nightmare as a forklift truck bounces off a person and immediately changes direction by about 90 degrees, showing that the scenes don't always remain coherent. And then this guy's red top changes to green, and this guy suddenly splits in two. There's a real problem with scale in this image, with a bunch of giants sat next to lots of small people, so there are definitely a few things they need to iron out here. And it doesn't always listen to prompts either. This one of a Dalmatian ignores the request for many people walking and cycling along the canal streets in front of the buildings, which was included in the original prompt. I mean, they probably would be visible there if the view of the scene was from further out, but it's not so there. But it is interesting that as real as this video might look, minus some parallax issues of the dog getting around these shutters even though they're clearly sticking out too far for it to be able to do that, it doesn't mean the AI has envisioned the scene the same way as the person requesting the prompt has. It's like it has a mind of its own. 
This prompt asking for a chameleon showcasing its striking colour changing capabilities doesn't seem to change colour at all. A weird instance where AI happens to be more realistic than real life. I don't care too much for these CGI scenes either, but I can appreciate that they're probably already approaching the point where they could fill in for child's TV shows and stuff. And in a few short years we'll probably be ready to replace all the people working on CGI in movies as well. There's a ton of AI generated video nonsense that's headed our way, and YouTubers such as myself will be some of the first to have to compete with it, content wise. But the joke's on them because I've had years of experience generating nonsense content. Asking a corgi to vlog itself is also ripe for problems, as it isn't quite sure how the dog is meant to hold the stick so it just sort of pokes out from beneath its necklace thingy. What's amusing here are the low flying and hopping seagulls whizzing past who seem to disappear behind the rod. If you fast forward this video then it's more obvious the selfie stick isn't attached to the dog as well, but I really have to nitpick to find problems with it, and if I saw this scene at a glance I wouldn't immediately assume it was AI generated, even though the content may be ridiculous. This sort of technology enables some really unique camera angles like this cat pacing through the garden. I noticed at one point it double steps with one of its front paws which is probably physically impossible. But it's still scary, it's almost good enough. And although it may occasionally forget about a limb or create a new one out of nowhere, there is still something that feels very real about these clips, like it's captured something about our way of life, albeit in a dreamlike state for now. And it enables some truly amazing possibilities, like to re-envision moments in history, even from before the era of videos and photos. But it goes without saying that it's also very, very scary. The makers of this technology, OpenAI, talk about their safety policies, but say that there's no way to predict all of the ways in which this sort of technology can be abused. And it isn't even that. Sora could be perfectly safe and 100% accurate with its prompts and when not to generate harmful videos. It still shows us that this kind of technology is possible and there's nothing stopping other AI systems from generating videos without the same safeguards and precautions, and it's only a matter of time before this happens. On one hand there's always been photoshopping and faking of videos, but somehow this feels different. Instant. Infinite. Just like this bowl of spaghetti. Link to all the videos in the description.